One of the most confusing topics in 3D rendering is color management. I don't really understand half of it myself, but fortunately it gets easier and easier to navigate with every release. Houdini has settled on a very popular rendering space called ACES, which from my understanding has been widely accepted because it's easier to match real camera footage. You can read more about it on Chris Prejean's site if you're very interested in this. I work with full 3D, so I wanted to explore these color spaces a little bit, and I noticed that Blender treats his colors differently, and they look kind of nice. Blender uses something called AGX. Like ACES, it comes neatly packaged in a .ocio file, which makes it really easy to swap in and out of different software. If you want to know more about AGX, you can read about it on Scientia's blog. They write about how AGX is different from ACES and why ACES can be overcomplicated for 3D artists. The various qualities of AGX are also displayed in depth. Here in the background I have my own examples showing ACES on the left and AGX on the right. AGX keeps the light rolling off the shape even in very extreme conditions, while ACES peaks and flattens, so you can't really see the form of this sphere. In my opinion, AGX also feels more filmic than ACES, which is often very saturated and contrasty in comparison. You can download different versions of AGX on the internet, the original by Troy Sobotka, here on GitHub. If you click code, download zip, and unzip the file when downloaded. Alternatively, Eerie Chow has an extended version with more LUTs available, which is the one used in Blender. For the time being, the way to change OCIO profile isn't very intuitive. Let's jump into Houdini and I'll show you how it works. You can see your color management settings inside of Houdini in a couple of ways. One is here in the viewport. If you go to the perspective tab up here and you go to correction toolbar, you'll get this toolbar down here. And to enable the ACES tone mapping in the viewport, we just want to click this ACES 1.0. And we can see that the color is now changed to be more contrasty, but also more within viewing range. So this, if you render in ACES, is also the transformation that you do on your EXRs in your post-processing workflow. The other way is to go to Edit and OCIO settings. And by default, Houdini has this ACES config loaded up and it has a bunch of rules about how to read textures that are called different things. The thing we care about is just this render working space, which is ACES CG, and the view transform which is what we actually just set right here in the viewport, but you can also set it up here and you can hit apply and okay. And down here at the bottom, we can see which file Houdini is loading its ACES config from. And right now it's loading it from our Houdini folder. This is the path that we want to replace with the files that we've downloaded. So in order to do that, we need to navigate to our Houdini environment file. And this file lives in the documents and your Houdini version folder, and then it's houdini.env. If you open that up, and the variable that we want to set is OCIO is equal to, and let's say we want this config by Troy, copy the path, and paste it in here in our OCIO file. And we'll save this, we'll open Houdini back up. Now, if we go to our OCIO settings, nothing has changed. So we'll actually need to restart Houdini in order to see any changes here. So I'll just do that. And now immediately we can see that this color correction toolbar has some different settings. It's set to sRGB and display native. We can set it to AGX. We also have a couple of other options from Troy here that we can play around with. And if we go to edit OCIO settings, we can see that the path has now been replaced with the path that we pasted in. Here I've installed the config by Eerie Chow, and this is the one used in Blender. By default, we have this standard transform, which we just want to change to AGX. So in this example here, I rendered out with completely default settings. So I get an EXR stack, and then I went into DaVinci Resolve, which is where I usually do my final color grading, and I opened it up in Fusion. And I just added this OCIO color space node and you can do this in any compositor or color editing software that has access to OCIO, which is most of them at this point. And on this OCIO color space, I just load in the OCIO config like we did into Houdini. And then I set the source space to linear rec 709. We know this because if we go in Houdini, edit OCIO settings, our render working space is linear rec 709. 
And then the view transform we want to apply to it in here is AGX base sRGB. So you could choose others, but in my case, this makes most sense because my monitor is an sRGB monitor. So that's the full process of working with AGX inside of Houdini. Thank you for checking out this quick tip and thanks to my colleagues Maunus and Søren at Tumblehead for figuring this one out with me.